Hello guys, welcome back to some more God of War. In the last episode we explored Athens Town, the town that Ares is literally destroying piece by piece. And this episode we're going to continue exploring Ares and see if we can find a way to catch up with him. So let's go this way and see if we can... I don't think we should find a way to get to Ares yet because Kratos is nowhere near strong enough to beat him, go, go, but... Go. Okay, those guys have just been killed. If you're not Kratos, you're not going to stand a chance of living around here. Unless you're Ares. And Ares is literally destroying this place piece by piece. Maybe if we got on a high enough rooftop, maybe we could cause a bit of damage, but I don't think that's being possible. Nah, that can't be possible. I don't think Kratos, even if Kratos did that, he still wouldn't win. So we're going to go on the rooftops of Athens. If Kratos could find the high ground, find a building in Athens that is taller than Ares, which honestly, I don't think there is. Then Kratos thinks he can have a slight advantage, but I don't see that being possible. But to some extent, we're just going to get more powerful and see if we eventually can find a time where we will be strong enough to beat up Ares. So I've got all my magic and all my health. I could have left all this, but yeah. Anyway, let's head in here. Let's get some more orbs before we take on some enemies that appear in this room. I remember this part pretty well. These guys are laughing at Kratos. If they think they can beat Kratos, they're a bunch of fucking idiots. Fine, Kratos will just show these guys how powerful he is. He may not be Ares yet, but a day will come where Ares will also fall to Kratos. I need to get some, I want to try and upgrade my blade so I can get more combos in. And I want to try and grab one of these guys when they're stunned so I can take him so I can then throw him into that guy over there but for some reason if I press the circle button these guys I can't grab these guys at all which is a bit of a shame I've got, I've got a health chest over there so I could definitely grab hold of that at some point I've got some magic though which is great I'm going to use this one that should cause some damage there we are these guys hide in the ground and try to cause damage like that, which is really irritating. Okay, I'm taking quite a bit of damage, so I'm going to have to do this. There we go, we'll do this, see if that does enough damage. And I've got some health from that, great. Oh, these, these arrow... I'm going to have to get rid of these arrow guys, they're doing my head in. I can grab that guy and chuck him into that guy there, but I don't think... No, I, I didn't think it was going to hit him. I knew they were going to crash into those stairs instead of, instead of that guy with the arrow. So I'm going to quickly refill my health before that guy shoots me. Come here. I'm just going to grab someone and just throw these guys. Although it's a bit of a shame I can't get both of them at the same time. Grab one and get them chucked into one another. Gives me oh, what's, it, what's through here? A chest. Alright. I forgot there was a chest here. Another Gorgon Eye. I think it's more, it's probably very likely I'll find more Gorg Gorgon Eyes than Feathers because I think in the trophy collection of the game I've got the trophy for finding all the Gorgon Eye treasure chests but not all the Phoenix Feather chests. We'll try and find all the chests throughout the game but I can't promise you I'm going to find every single one. I haven't platinumed this game but I've got about 70% of all the trophies in this game. I think the trophies I, I have, I don't have are the ones where we're finding all the Phoenix Feathers and trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty. And there's also a trophy where you can try and beat, the, if you try to beat the game, the whole game in under five hours or so. To do that, the wise thing to do would probably, to, would probably be to play the game on easy, then you could just rush your way through the game. If you know this game quite well, then... Yeah, then just go on easy and then try and be slash your way through the game. Probably be the best thing to do. I'm going to need some. When I get a chance, I need to 
get some more health, but I don't know if that's going to be likely. Oh my god. I can't use that, that's a shame. I'm going to retreat, so I need to find some more health, but I don't think there is any health, which is really annoying. I think I could be screwed here. Hmm. They're waiting for me? Okay, I'm still alive, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Well, I'm gonna suggest quickly. No. Ah. I'm dead. I knew that was gonna happen. Going for that tress was such a bad idea. Okay, we're back here. I hope that big guy hasn't appeared yet. He'll be here in just a moment. Here he comes. I've left the chest down there with the health. I've left it. I've not touched it at all. Can I try and... No, there's not enough magic. I didn't have enough magic. Fuck. I tell you, I'm going to head down and refill my health quick before I take these guys on. Oh, there's another guy there. A borrowing arrow. Tell you what. I'll quickly get rid of this guy because he's going to get in the way when I try to open the chest. Let's get myself some health. Okay, now I'm ready. I need to take out that big one. Maybe Kratos can get on top of him and maybe I can use him to take out all the other guards around here. I think these are the guys Kratos can take control of. I know there are some big enemies in the game where when the circle button appears, Kratos can jump onto them and he can control them. Here we go. Perhaps I'm just going to kill this guy instead. Oh, yeah, no, At least we've got no. the big guy out of the way. And there's another one. Oh, for goodness sake. Maybe I that big guy can help me take the little ones out. If I can pull them to him, perhaps he can end up hitting the, little, the other ones instead. Although I don't know if that's going to chip away any of the health though when they do that. So many of these idiots. I need to get to the other chest. I need to block more, that's what I need to do. Although, the only problem I have with blocking around here is um, the big guy, if I try to block his attacks, it's not going to work because his attacks are far too big. Oh, hello, hello. Come here, now. Okay, I'm going to take this big guy out at last. That's him gone. Come on, please give me some health. No, I just got all. Oh, I've got a bit of health, actually. Okay, I think I'll just hope Let it's the, the last rage one. Of no, the gods drive your blades, Kratos. I've got the rage, so I can definitely use that at some point. But I'm not going to use the X, there's only a few of these guys left to deal with. Okay, Gosmo, come on. Last one. I'll die, you son. Okay, if this last guy takes me out, which he doesn't. I swear, if that last guy took me out, I would be furious. <laughs> Okay, I finally got rid of all those guys. It quite, can be quite difficult to know when to block, especially when you've got little guys and big guys to deal with, because when you try to block the big guys' attacks, their attacks are too strong for Kratos to block, so they will just... it'll just overpower Kratos' block quite easily. Okay, so we head this way. Go, go, go! Those Harry guys are running away. Yeah, but those guys weren't going to do very long, clearly. Is that the way I'm meant to go? I don't think that's always where I'm meant to go. At least I'll clear myself a little path though. Well, Ares cleared the path for me. Okay, one thing you've got to be careful is watch the, the Borrow and Arrow guys, because if they hit Kratos, it will it will clearly do damage, but it also knock him off as well while he's trying to climb. Obviously, if Kratos falls down there, it'll be, it'll be instant death for him. See? They hit me as I tried to jump. So I make a way along here. This... These guys better not take me out. I did fail this quite a few times on first place game because it can be really easy for the the arrows to hit Kratos. Of course, when Kratos is jumping from one place to another, when they hit him, it can really interrupt his. 
Let's jump. So there we go. Let's see what's in here. Just orbs. Shame there was no feather or anything. Oh well. So I think I'm going to need some magic. I'll definitely do with some magic at this point. Okay, I'm not going to go this way just yet. We'll go this way first to start things off. You can get a bit confused about it because there are a few ways to go. And I remember I was stuck on this bit for a little while because of a certain thing we need to do, which I will show you guys shortly. I need to see how many orbs I've got, but I think I'll do that later on in the episode. I'll upgrade some of my abilities. I could save my game here, but I'm not going to. We'll carry on a bit longer. Oh, oh, it's not the big guy. These aren't, these aren't, these aren't the massive guys. I'm not going to use the Rage of the Gods just yet. I'm going to wait a bit longer. When, when I get seriously overwhelmed, that would be a good time to use it. Come on, Chris. Get that blade down his throat. So if I can knock that guy off the off the, the rooftop, I don't know if I could do that actually. I might be able to, I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever tried that before. Try and knock them off the the rooftop of Athens. As we fight along the rooftops, if if they're close enough to the roof that you might be able to push them off. Like when you attack them. That's not him gone, we gone oh we just got this little These aren't bats, but I don't know what to call them. They do look they do remind me of bats a little bit. These are definitely not bats though. I could just grab them. Here we go. Just rip them apart. Quick way to kill them. I don't know if you get anything though if you kill them like that. It's a quick way to kill them, but I don't know if you're going to get much orbs out of it, to be honest. Kratos could just rip them in half. I'm not going to open the chest. I think I might come back to that chest a bit later if I lose a bit of health. So I think we're not. Let's not open that chest. I will try and get them close to the, the edge of the roof, but I don't know if I can do that. I'm not going to bother and try and experiment. I'm just going to try and kill these guys when I have the chance. I think we're going to have another one. Yeah, I thought we'd have another one. Surely they can't just have one of these guys on the roof. On this roof, anyway. Surely they want to throw more big guys if they want to kill Kratos. I don't think I can knock them off. Because he was up in the air for a little while and I hit him while he was in the air and he didn't seem to fall off the roof. Especially when he was a... When I had him in the air and he was way above the wall and I thought he was going to fall off, so... I think if you could knock him off the roof, I think he definitely would have gone off the roof then. Here we are. I might get rid of these guys just in case they do attack me while I try to climb onto more higher buildings. I don't see if there's anything down here, which I don't think there is. No, so, what this means is we head up here. I need to get over there. You! I must get across! Release the lever! Extend the bridge! No, no! I won't let them get me! They won't get across! These monsters! They'll, they'll tear me apart! Coward! Wimp! Come on! Let Kratos throw. So I guess I'm going to have to find another way across. So at least we came this way and, we, and we've cleared the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back down. If I head this way, actually. Ah, oh, what's this? Aha, what have we here? Gorgonite, another one. I don't really need to open this one, but we'll open it anyway. So I now need to go back the way I came, which was... Down here. 
So we need to go a different way. What we need to do is, oh god, not you guys. Tell you what, screw it. I'm just going to leave these guys. They're not going to chase after me. So we need to head this way, and we need to get hold of a new god power when we head this way. So we got this little bow and arrow here, which is going to really come in handy. This thing is heavy as well. Kratos is kicking it and it's not even going very far. Actually, it might go down a bit further now we're... Now the ground's slipping a bit. As the, gro as the ground was going down a bit, I thought this thing will go down quite quickly. So if I get to this side, no, that's not what I wanted to do. So when we go here, there should be a little circular mechanism thing we can put this on, and we can turn this around the way we need it to go. Okay, we got this on the mechanism. So what I need, take what? Should we take it off a minute? We can get this door open. And we got these guys to deal with. Again, I'm not going to use the rage of the gods, I'm just going to mix my light and heavy attacks together and I can take them out. When I get more powerful and upgrade my abilities, it's going to make dealing with the big guys so much easier. Luckily these guys aren't very big so it won't take long to kill these guys. All of them keep respawning. Tell you what I'm gonna do then, I've got an idea. We'll use this, this should kill them. Here we go. I think that did it. I don't know why I didn't think of that previously. Perhaps if I go this way, we'll see what's up here. I think there is a chest up here, yes there is. What we got here? Oh, just orbs. Seriously? Was I Gorgon Eye or Phoenix Feather in that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll just keep going. Ah, I see what I need to do. I've got an idea. So if I take this off, now if we turn it again, and it will turn while the while arrow is not on it. Then we can turn it the way we want it to be. It took me a little while to figure this out when I first played this game, but eventually figured it out. So now we've got it the way it wants to go. So what we need to do is get it lined up with that wooden door there, and then we can knock it down with the big arrow. That's where we need to go. Hang on, what's this? I wonder if there's a chest behind here. Nope, just... Tonga so gonna need some more magic, so... I guess it's handy there's a bit of a chest. There's a chest back here. Yeah, it could definitely do with a um, chest that contains a Phoenix Feather or Gorgonite right now. Perhaps this room might have one. Nope. Got some orbs though, but that's not what I want right now. It's not I forgot about these doors actually. So if you open this one up. What's in here? Seriously, nothing? Oh, come on. Hang on, I saw a hole in the ceiling. So Perhaps that's not a way to go up there. I thought I was scared I was going to go down in a second, but luckily... That's pretty clever level design. 
I thought if I fell through that, I was going to fall down. There's actually glass there. I didn't realise that until I walked on it. Lord Zeus. Kratos, you grow stronger as your journey continues. But if you are to succeed in your quest, you will need my aid. I offer you the power of the greatest of all the gods, the father of Olympus. I offer you the power of Zeus. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemy. We've acquired Zeus's fury. We've got another godlike weapon. You have done well, Kratos. Go with the gods. Go forth in the name of Olympus. So now we have that. We, if we press the L2 button, we can press the square button to then fire Zeus's fury. Pretty cool. That is definitely going to come in handy. I could use that to take out that little wimp over on the bridge. And I could use it to take out those guys over there. So you, let's do a bit of target practice while we're here. These guys can me a bone out, so I'm going to hit these guys with light. Second floor, where does that way go? I'm going to see what this leads to quick. Just this room. Although it's only... I think I can see what, where there's going to be a, a chest in here. Behind this little cracked wall. So we've got some magic. And we've got two chests. Let's see what's inside them. A Gorgonite, another one. When am I going to find a feather? I need one more to increase my magic. So at least we went that way to get some more feathers and Gorgonites. So I think when this game ends I'll definitely have probably more health than I will. Feathers. So I think I got a thing I have missed a feather or two already in this let's play. I may not have done, but I probably have somewhere. I'm not aiming to go for every single one, so I don't know, it doesn't particularly matter. I've got I could use my little electricity abilities here. I've always used Zeus's Fury, but I don't know if that's gonna be handy at the moment. Just use a different ability. You shame need a certain amount of um, magic in order to use it. Well I did say I wasn't really gonna worry about these enemies. I'm just not going to worry about his enemies because if I do I'm going to lose more health and I'll be dead. Get some health here though. I could use some more magic but I think obviously the less health I have the less likely I am to survive battles. I could just get some magic here. Now when I have my Zeus Fury I can then Electrocute this guy. Gotcha, bitch. If he released the bridge in the first place, that never would have happened. I think once I find the next save point, I think I'll see what weapons I can upgrade. And we've got some more phases then we can destroy it. And let's see what's in here. Feather. Yes, I can have more magic. There we go. Got some more magic. I wonder what's going to be in this one. A Gorgonite, of course. I found loads of Gorgonites in this episode. I ain't got time to piss around with you, but I'm just going to use the Rage of the Gods and literally obliterate all these guys. More, more, more of them are bound to respawn, so I thought, why not use it? I guess I may have activated that a bit too early, but at least we got no the big, we ain't got any of the big guys around here yet. Or if any would appear at all.
Oh, I actually got this guy. Nasty. I didn't think I could actually grab. Perhaps I have to be badly hurt before I can actually pick them up. Or actually take them out for super unique ability. I think once we head up here, we'll be on top. We'll be back in Athens Square, where we were in the last episode. We've got some orbs and lovely stuff. Where am I? Oh, that's right, it does take us to Athens. This does take us to Athens Square. Oracle! Kratos! Praise Athena, you've arrived! Ah! No! Kratos! Kratos, find me! You must find me! Athens depends on it! Don't worry, I'm coming. So she's been kidnapped. So we're back in Athens Square. Do you remember this? This is where I was in the last episode. We're now on the top now. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is end this episode off here. Before I do, I'm going to go see if I can upgrade any of my abilities. Ooh, shall I upgrade the blades? Yeah, why not? Let's upgrade the blades again. Since it is a very vital weapon for Kratos, we'll see if we can get this weapon fully upgraded. Blades cut level 3. Sly Clone of Chaos, Sly Clone of Chaos in the Air, Spirit of Hercules, Valor of Hercules. Hades Revenge, Square or Triangle R1 while in Hades Reverse Parry Pose. Alright, pretty cool. I think if one of the abilities was this, which is so, I love doing this, it's so cool. We can block and then just do that, and it really does cause some damage. Okay guys, what I'm going to do is end this episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. And we'll keep updated with all the God of War episodes uploaded to my channel. And in the next episode, we'll go rescue that girl. I'll see you guys there. Thank you all for watching. This is GoldieX and I'm out.